away first time then the final of the men's heavyweight cockless ball and great britain in lane number three have gone away nice and quickly in that first five strokes they're whipping the rate up up to 45 strokes already and they're already going out to two feet three feet lead here in near perfect conditions as the crews now start to move through 100 a lane order germany one in lane number one coming down italy two in lane two great britain in three Italy one in lane four, Ireland in five, close to Suez in the second peak boater here, Germany two in lane number six. But look, Dan Topolsky, who sits beside me here, we're almost, uh, we've almost got dropped jaws here because inside 250 meters, Great Britain have got a length lead. That is an amazing takeoff. Uh, they, they said that they were going better than uh, they were three weeks ago in Dorney, but this is rather stunning. Look at the way they've taken off there. They know they've inherited the, uh, the mantle of the great Tim Sens and his, and his four from Athens. Uh, they've stepped into those shoes. In fact, they're using the same boat, and uh, Hodge at Stroke there is using the same shoes. So, same boat, same shoes. They have stormed off. They refuse to be phased by the, uh, the, the, the shadow cast by the previous uh, four. They are making this race their own, and they're, well, they're out of the picture. They've taken nearly two lengths in 500 meters. Quite an extraordinary start. Across the uh, times of the semi-finals, they were about two and a half seconds ahead. But through now the 500 meters, Great Britain have demolished. They've absolutely demolished this field. In lane one, Germany out the back. In lane two, Italy two out the back. Italy one in lane four at the moment, struggling. Ireland in lane five, struggling. And Germany closest to us, they're left, they're well out. And Great Britain, they've got their heads up. They're still up on a nice high rate here. And whatever Jürgen Grobler said to them, we've been staying with them at the uh, hotel over the last couple of days. We sat beside them last night, just a couple of tables along, and watched them to try to listen into their uh, pep talk. But they're guys that were gunning for it, and they're gunning for the gold medal later this season at Gifu at the World Championships. Gary, what, uh, what uh, 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 Andrew Hodge said uh, yesterday was that we know we have to be a lot faster than the Athens Four if we're going to win gold. They, that's what they're setting about to do, and this is exploring. What is great about the way that Hodge rose, and he did this uh, going for Oxford this, uh, this year. He was the stroke of the Oxford crew that won the boat race earlier on this year. Uh, he and Peter Reid, who's sitting at three in this boat. What they do is, what he does is set a wonderful rhythm. Just look how this boat just travels and runs between the strokes. Now that's something that is an improvement on the Athens 4, because that Athens 4 used a tremendous amount of power and muscle to bully the race the boat along. Here, they're very, very smooth and languid, and they allow the boat to run, and it's beautiful rowing. So we're looking there, straight ahead of us, Andrew Hodge there is making it look so, so easy. Behind him, Alex Partridge. Peter Reid, the commander, as he's known amongst the team, sits in the two seat, and big, bad Steve Williams in the bow seat. We're through a 1,000 metres. That guy, Steve Williams, is absolutely awesome. He doesn't say an awful lot. He leaves his talking to the water, and he's talking pretty loudly today. Great Britain, 306 through the thousand. Look at the gap between them. They're leaving everybody in their wake. They've moved out to about a length and a half clear water. This third 500 already. They'll want more. These guys, all four of them, will want more. They're setting down a big, big benchmark here for the rest of the season. What's important here, Gary, is that Italy and uh, Germany are trying to reform, trying to recreate crews. These are the two powerhouses in, in, in Falls Racing. Uh, outside outside the British. But they are left here really many, many, many lengths behind. Just looking at Ireland there, recap of down who's coming second and third. Ireland in third place currently through the halfway mark. Italy first, Italy first boat are in the second position at the moment. That's Ireland in lane number five. And you can just already see the, the, what Great Britain have done is they've made everybody in the rest of the field here put their heads down. When your heads go down, you're not gonna get the boat speed. These guys are confident. They're up tall in the middle there. We're just looking. Um, well, we'll just go down the boat again. Andrew, pa and Andrew Hodge to the left. Alex Partridge there in the middle. The commander, Pete Reed in the two seat. Steve Williams to the right there. They're looking comfortable now, but they're still looking sharp down. Steve, uh, Steve Williams at bow. He's the uh, only survivor from the Athens boat. He's the really experienced guy. He's only lost once since 1998. He's always, he's always come home with a medal, apart from once uh, since 1998. So he's a, he's, a, he's a terrific, terrific competitor, strong as a horse. 500 meters now remain men's heavyweight cockles for final great britain have demolished it right from the first stroke let's see if they're going to move on again in the closing stages second place going through now italy one ireland holding on to that third place 
Look at the spread here, and Ireland are doing pretty well here. We're getting excited because this has been a, just an amazing result so far. A performance from Great Britain that really just puts them out there. For Peter Reid, rowing at uh, two in this boat, uh, he's only been rowing for three and a half years. So for him, the introduction is he must find you know, winning the boat race earlier on this year, then winning at uh, Dorney Lake. He must think this is all coming very, very easily. This, if this is rowing, it must be a lot of fun. And uh, laying, the way they're laying down this back, the maturity in the way that they're rowing, that's very, very impressive for just their second big race of the season. And amongst all those cyclists, you saw Jürgen Grobler there, the watchful eye. He must have a smile on his face as he's cycling down in the closing stages. And they're looking strong. They're still looking pretty good. They're inside 250 to go. It's the final, the heavyweight final, the men's at Cockworth 4. It's near perfect distance. Look at that water there. Absolutely flat here. The crowd are pretty impressed here because right from the first stroke, Great Britain have looked strong. But now just starting to stretch it out. There's going to be no fireworks as they come in. They're holding their race pretty steady. Jürgen on the far bank there on his uh, bike. About a length of clear water. Less than 100 to go. Right from the first stroke, it's been just superb now. And again, their heads up. They can just paddle in. They can enjoy. It's the second race of the season. It's a new combination. All is looking very, very well. And suddenly, we may well have some new heroes in the British rowing team on the men's side. Coming in second place and just paddling in now, Italy. And Ireland coming in in that important third place. But let's go front. Out front, Dan. There could be some new names on the block, and suddenly some of these old boys, well, they might be yesterday's heroes. Well, they're fine, fine successors, aren't they, to uh, the Athens, the Athens um, crew. Uh, I think uh, these are going to be the new heroes. I think they are. They've done, done really very, very well there. Peter Reid, there's going to be a lot of that over the next few years, I think. And just see it on the right there, Stevie Williams. In the bows. He doesn't give anything away, does he, really, there? And such a leader leads this boat from the bows there, but he's quiet, but he's powerful. And, and a great start there but it's been the good thing is they've got their heads up and it really hasn't taken an awful lot out very nice by alex partridge very nice by alex partridge there. so there it is great britain top of the uh, results caption that's where we like to see them italy in first ireland in third place it's looking good for